Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. What's happened in fourth grade? Welcome to the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. This is video number 21. At this time, I'm hoping that you have the worksheet that you need for today because now it's time for you to pause the video and solve the problems on your own. If you're thinking, well, I don't have the worksheet, Miss McCarthy, where do I get it? Well, if you check out the link below or somewhere around this video, there should be a link. It'll lead you to my website where you can download the worksheet that you need for this episode along with the other episodes in this Math FSA Boot Camp Series. So check it out. Okay, now that you've got your worksheet, go ahead and solve number one and number two on your own. Throw down at your best as if these two problems were on the test and then come on back to check your work. All right. Sorry, you're picking up a little bit of a shadow here from my fabulous Okio cam, which is the dot camera that I'm using for this series. I love it. Teachers, if you are in need of a dot cam, you should totally check out the Okio cam as I actually created a video of seven reasons why I love the Okio cam and why I think it'll be perfect for students to use to enhance their education. So I hope you check that out. So first let's identify the question type. I'm seeing four answer choices. So what kind of question is this? It is a multiple choice. Yes, indeed, multiple choice. All right, jot that down if you did not already. And now let's go ahead and read the question and mark up our text so it makes sense. Izzy volunteers at a koala rehabilitation center. It takes her half an hour to clean each koala cage. So it takes her one half of an hour to clean each cage. How long? Here's the question. How long does it take for Izzy to clean five cages? I don't know if you all are aware, but there's a show on Netflix with this young girl. Her name is Izzy and she helps her mom take care of koalas. It's a super great show. Like I love it. So it inspired me to write a problem, a math problem involving her. Okay. So let's go ahead and make this make sense. I'm seeing over here that the answers are all in what? Minutes, but it says that it takes her half of an hour, right? So how many minutes are in half of an hour? If you look at the math FSA reference sheet, you will notice that one hour equals how many minutes? 60, right? 60 minutes. So if we cut that in half, that means that half of an hour should equal how much? Well, half of 60 would be 30 minutes. So since our answer is going to be in minutes, let's work in minutes, okay? And now it says that how long does it take for Izzy to clean five cages? Well, I'm gonna draw out those five cages. One, two, three, four, five. And I want you to just imagine that there's the cutest little koala in there. They're so cute. And these five cages, it takes her 30 
minutes to do each one, right? To clean each cage. So there's five cages and it takes her 30 minutes. I'm seeing groups of equal things, five groups of the equal amount of time that it takes, which means that we are multiplying. So we have five times three. Well, ah, nah, here come the fives, five, 10, 15, 15. And then with a zero, so 150 minutes, right? Awesome. That is how you would do this type of problem. Go ahead and make any corrections that you need to make and then join me for number two. All right, number two, I'm looking at the type, I'm seeing little, like little boxes right here with choices and statements that we have to read and then fill in the blank. So this is an editing task question. Jackie's purchases a pack of pencils. So a pack of pencils for $2.70 and notebook paper for $1 and 20 cents with a $5 bill. So if I'm visualizing this, Jackie's gets a pack of pencils and notebook paper, brings it to the cashier. The cashier scans it and Jackie's hands the cashier a $5 bill. Complete the statements below to determine how much change Jackie's should receive. So change, fill in the bubble before the choice that is correct. Okay, now this is saying here, Jackie's could use a model to solve like either A or B. Well, let's take a look at these two numbers. We have two and 70, two dollars and 70 cents. But this is also a decimal and there's a certain way that we could represent this. We have two in the ones place, which means we have two holes and then we have seven tenths. But actually these are 70 hundredths. So either seven tenths or 70 hundredths. And then for $1 and 20 cents, yeah, that's $1 and 20 cents, but it could also be one whole and two tenths or 20 hundredths. Okay. And so let's see which model is showing that here. I'm seeing one hole shaded in two holes shaded in. So we have two holes. And then we have part of a hole over here and this has zoom in here so you can see it. But when you count them, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven when I'm looking at it. I know it's hard to see there, but there's seven, which would be seven tenths or 70 hundredths when we're looking at that. So this is looking pretty good. Here we have one hole shaded in and then there's two tenths or 20 hundredths. So this A is looking pretty good for them being joined together, right? For B, I'm seeing two tenths and then seven, which would be 27 hundredths. And here I'm seeing 12 hundredths. Not quite the answers that we need. So the correct choice is going to be A on how we could model them. Here it says the amount of change that Jackie's could receive is what? Well, to me, the change is kind of being represented here by the white space. This is the amount that he's not spending on paper and pencil. So how much is that? Well, here we have 30 tenths and here we have 80 tenths and 30 plus 80 would be 110 or $1 and 10 cents. All right, fourth grade, if you know that you need some more help with the fourth grade skills that you need to be working on this year, first I want you to check out the link below to McCarthy Math 155. It's a program that has 155 video lessons with a worksheet that goes along with the video. And it's a super fun, high energy, jam packed learning session. So many schools are using this as their math intervention for third, fourth, and fifth graders. And the students love it. They totally look forward to this time. So check it out. Now you do have to become a member in order to access the videos, but you're technically a member for seven days when you grab your seven day free trial. So on the website, you will see clearly where you click to grab that free trial. If you need any help getting set up, feel free to email me. I'm so happy to help you with this. Okay. I know you guys are going to love this. The next link that I'd love for you to check out is to the how to pass the math FSA series. This was my first series that I created several years ago, back when the FSA was a computer based test for fourth grade. Now it's a paper based test, which is why I've created the boot camp to go along with the paper based version. 
Still, the how to pass the math FSA is standards based. Problems might look a little bit different because it's not a computer based test anymore, but it's totally something that you could check out for extra practice on these skills. So I will link that video below. I'd love for y'all to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. I'm also on YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy. In fact, if you're watching this on YouTube, could you go ahead and smash that like button? Not just to make me feel good, but to support my mission. You see, there are so many students out there who struggle with math. And I am on a mission to make math fun, to make it click, and to make it stick for any student that needs help. So when you smash that like button, it helps other students to find me, and I really do appreciate that. You're, you're changing somebody's life by doing that. Thank you. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. And finally, before we go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the generation that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers who are ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness and you always have that choice. And I cannot wait to see you all on the next episode.